uh hi guys my name is narayan and i welcome all the viewers in this video and uh, in this video guys i just try to brought a small topic but very important which is uh difference between azure point to point point to site and express route vpn because as a azure administrator it should be very clear in which scenario uh we should uh use point to site site to site and Access root VPN because uh, until unless we don't have the clear scenario about it and the requirement and what is the use, we can't decide which one is better. So there are certain similarities and little bit more features difference you can say in this or in between or among the uh, point to site, site to site, and express express route. So I just thought to prepare a small video and I hope it is gonna be useful. If you find it useful, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, comment on this, and share this video and like this video. So, guys, if I talk about on the basis of Azure supported services, okay. So, what are the services supported by point to site, site to site, and Express Route? So, guys, there are two services basically. One is cloud based. Second one is virtual machine. So, both cloud based. cloud services and virtual machines supported by both point to site and site to site vpn okay now if we talk about express route so it has little bit more you can say features or services supported by this it will support both cloud service virtual machines as well as virtual network uh, power bi dynamics 365 for finance cdn traffic manager devops service load testing and there are so many services so it will have little bit more power as you can see if you are going to use this express route but again it is a question of the scenario or requirement if you do not required to use express route you should not use it and uh, if you required only point to site you can configure point to site so it is depend on the requirement only because if you do not required uh, express route and you are using express route then uh, definitely you will have to pay more because whatever we use on azure you have to pay so you need to be very careful in that scenario next uh, thing is like bandwidth so typical bandwidth if we talk about what is the difference between point to site site to site and express route so in this guys it is based on the gateway sku i will tell you what is sku in next video i have prepared one separate video okay so it is going to be based on gateway what we are selecting at the time of uh, point to site creation and site to site site to site is like typically 1 gb aggregate so it uh, may use or it can use up to 1 gbps this will be supported bandwidth and if we talk about express route so guys 50 mbps 100 mbps 200 mbps 500 mbps 1 gb 2 gb 5 gb 10 gb so these are the speed or bandwidth which can be supported by point to site site to site and express route so always express route has more because it is a it is it is not a internet uh, connection or it, it is not a over internet it is just direct connection internet internet will not play any role here okay so, so like this so internet will not play any role but if we talk about point to site and site to site then internet internet will come in between like this this is your internet uh but here it is a private line so it can support up to 10 gb ps next thing if we talk, it talk about protocol supported so if we talk about a point to site it supports secure socket tunneling sstp and ip security ip security direct connection over uh, vlans uh, network security protocols nps vpn technologies if we talk about mpls bpls so these are the uh, supported protocol in point to site if we talk about site to site it it uses ip secure security ipsec and express route direct connection over vlans okay first one nps vpn technology 
it will support uh, MPLS as well as BPLS here as uh, if we compare with point to site and express route so MPLS and BPLS is common in both the scenario point to site and site to site but if we talk about point to site and express route but in site to site it is IP security only so these are the protocols supported by all three VPN connections routing if we talk about a routing so guys uh, in point to site it is uh, route based only route based dynamic and in site to site we support policy based if you are configuring site to site then you will have to go static routing and policy based and dynamic also dynamic based routing VPN but in case express route it is gonna be a BPA border gateway protocol next thing connectivity res uh, resiliency if we talk about connection resiliency so active passive which one point to side and active passive or active active in, in in case of side to side but in case express route it is active active only so it will remain active both the sides but here if we talk about in point to side it is active passive here here it can be either active passive or active active in side to side similarly guys typical use cases so when we should use typical use case so point to side we, if we talk about it is like uh, prototyping development testing lab scenario for cloud services and virtual machine in the, in that kind of scenario we can use this point to side and if we talk about side to side development testing lab scenario and a small scale production workload for cloud services and virtual machines I if these are the requirement then we can go for side to side configuration VPN but if we talk about root express root so access to all Azure services validated list enterprise class and mission critical workloads backup big data Azure as DR site so if we have these kind of requirements very high level requirement then we should go for express route SLA guys all three has SLA uh, service level agreement so there is a guarantee of 99.993 times 9 SLA given by Azure and next thing pricing obviously you have to pay whether it is point to site side to side or express route next thing guys technical documentation and question answers so all three VPN provides technical documentation you can go through the technical documentation and we can ask a uh, question and they will answer so these are the basic things about what are the difference uh, in the usage or protocols or pricing SLA where we can use uh, all those things uh, routing and protocols as I told you bandwidth and services so guys in this video this much information I tried to collect if you find it helpful please don't forget to subscribe my channel comment on this video share this video like this video and if you share this video then obviously it will reach to other people also and they may also come to learn little bit thing so guys uh, uh, if you subscribe then you will be getting latest updated videos also so don't forget to subscribe and i will be sharing something new in my coming videos till then bye bye guys